A Jewish high school here in Toronto was the scene of a bomb threat sparking an evacuation and police investigation. City News has seen a copy of the email that was sent to the school. It was titled Death by Fire. At shortly after 11 o'clock this morning, I and some members of my administrative team received an email uh, stating that there were a number of bombs in or around the school and that many Jews were going to die today. The alarming language in that disturbing email triggered a 911 call followed by a quick police response. Within minutes, the school was evacuated, streets were shut down, and the canine unit was moving through the building room by room looking for an active threat. As a community, we are incredibly upset and outraged that these kinds of anti-Semitic events continue to take place and we think that is, it is essential that all Torontonians and all Canadians uh, react with shock and anger and upset to these kinds of events. This is the second time in the last month a Jewish high school here in North York has been targeted and is one of many hate crimes that have been reported to police since war broke out in the Middle East six weeks ago. When we're talking about hate crime, it doesn't affect just one person. Hate crime affects the entire community. Both the Jewish and Muslim communities across the GTA have been experiencing a steep escalation in threats, harassment, assaults, and vandalism, leading police to not only only patrol religious schools in places of worship, but to also expand its hate crimes unit. Last night, a mosque in York Region was also targeted by a bomb threat and had to be evacuated. What we saw last night um, was was really horrible. Thankfully, we haven't heard of anybody who was physically harmed during this event last night, but the emotional scars, the trauma, we know from these types of events will continue. And the National Council of Canadian Muslims says what's being reported is just a sliver of what's actually happening on our streets and in our communities. When we speak to people, really, really horrific things that have happened to them, that have been said to them, that have been done to them. And in many, many cases, they do not want to report that to the police. They do not want to speak about it publicly. And that's because of fear of backlash. What we need to do as Torontonians is to say that together we will stand against hate. Any form of hate is not welcome in Toronto. We are so much better than that. As for the investigation here, police gave the all clear just before 2 p.m. and says experts with the Cyber Crimes Unit are now working to try and trace the email, but admit in cases like this, it's very difficult to make arrests. Police are also encouraging anyone who witnesses or experiences a hate crime to report it. In North York, Shauna Hunt, City News.